welcome back to Everything DIY. Today we're going to be doing a compression test on our Mazda 3 and it'll give us a good idea of the general health of the car overall. So this car has about 50,000 miles on it. It's a really good time to go ahead and check all that. And um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing how we do this, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so for this we're only going to really need a couple tools. Mainly we're going to need a compression test kit. And um, we just got this Craftsman one which has a meter and also we're going to need a ratchet and a couple sockets. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's begin by removing the ignition fuse and the fuel pump fuse which will disable our car from injecting any fuel or sparking while we're testing. Next you're going to locate your spark plugs which is under here. Take it off. Right here. Okay, before starting the test, you want to make sure that your car is at operating temperature. Ours is, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the first spark plug. carefully and it's out of the way. Insert the compression hose. Twist it into the slot. Okay. On the compression gauge and start to turn the car. So I'm going to have our assistant start the car and when the needle stops rising I'm going to have him stop and that will be our cylinder one reading. Okay. Alright, it looks as though our cylinder one reading is 160, so we're going to go write that down and get started on the next one. Okay, now we're set up on cylinder two. Go ahead. Okay, our cylinder 2 reading is 165. I'm going to mark that down. Okay, now we have cylinder 3 set up. Go ahead. Okay. Alright, our cylinder 3 reading is 160. I'm going to mark that down and get started on the next one. And lastly, we have cylinder 4 set up. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Okay, so our cylinder number four reading is 165. So I'm going to release the pressure. So now I'm going to replace the last spark plug and then we'll explain the numbers. Okay, so as a reminder, cylinder number one was 160, number two, 165, three, 160, and four, 165. Based on these numbers, my car seems to be running pretty good. Also, considering the variance between numbers is less than 10%, it's also a very good sign. Put back those two fuses, screw down all the spark plugs, close the hood, and when it comes down to the numbers, I want you to think about 135 and how if your readings are below that or the variance between the numbers you've read is greater than 10 percent 
you might want to consider getting your car checked out because there could be an issue or a leak somewhere in the engine. And other than that, I think everything's good. Hope this was helpful. And if you liked our videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!